Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos, we discussed about how to load data into PostgreSQL, then how to perform transformation on top of it, how to build schema, then converting 3NF schema into uh, data warehouse schema, and we built our final data warehouse. Now from this video, we're gonna start learning about cloud computing. So we will be understanding what is cloud computing, what are the different advantages of cloud computing, services available, different cloud providers, and uh, we will then finally build our data warehouse on the cloud networks so without wasting time let's get started also i have like a little bit cold so uh, just bear with me now when we talk about cloud computing what is the first thing that comes to your mind if the picture is this then it's fine because this is the cloud we've been told from the childhood but from the technical point of view this is not the cloud this is the cloud cloud is basically some kind of uh, computers and virtual computers stored on some data centers provided by amazon google or any other company so you can use this or you can basically rent these servers and perform your operation on top of it so you can store your data do some transformation on top of it and many more so this is uh, what cloud in reality looks like now let's understand what is cloud computing okay so using a network of remote servers so basically we have these all of these remote servers available so we're going to use that using the internet okay so we can use that connect with some protocols and we can be easily store manage and process our data rather than using a local server so till now in our data warehouse series what we have done we used our local servers for everything we created our postgres server first then load data into that postgres server create database creating tables everything was on the single machine then we started writing python code to transform some of the data so that too we did on our local computer but that was a small data right uh, when the database keeps growing it is really difficult to process that amount of data onto a local computer because it has set of limitations so what do you do you buy more servers and more computing power but the problem is the but the problem with this is that uh, you will have to keep buying more servers and manage it and there is a lot of uh, management involved such as making sure the power is power supply is running 24 7 then your servers are running fine there is no failure single point of failure and many more so it is quite difficult to build your own premise server so that is the reason we use cloud now why why to use cloud okay so the number one reason we already talked about that we don't have to manage servers or hardware so everything will be managed by the cloud provider such as amazon google azure based on the cloud provider you choose then it is really easy to create resources so if you want to create a server you can just create it in the one click of the button so you don't have to worry about that too then you can access your server from anywhere we are located then it provides data replication so you can create multiple copies of your data and store it in your different servers so in case if one server fails you can still retrieve your data using different server and it provides security then you only pay for the services that you use so basically if i want to run some python code for once uh, that is a large code okay so i can just pay for that amount of code I now let's talk about different cloud provider technologies available in the market so we have many different cloud providers such as aws provided by amazon then google cloud uh, provided by google azure then alibaba cloud ibm cloud tencent cloud oracle cloud and many more now each of these clouds has its own advantages and disadvantages but the fundamental concept of these clouds are same such as providing computing power providing storage database servers and everything but the way they do it and the ui and everything will be different so to choose the right cloud provider for you you can take a look at the gartner quadrant okay so basically they do the surveys of different clouds and check the performances and then based on the four different criteria such as challengers leaders visionaries and niche players okay they try to rank the different cloud and based on the leadership uh, we have amazon web service microsoft and google okay these are the three top cloud providers or uh, was uh, are on the top uh, according to july 2021 so we're going to be start working with the aws because it is a top provider in the cloud computing market it has more than 150 services from computing storage database networking security etc and you can access aws using 
console then you can directly write the command using your terminal or you can use some apis or uh, software development kit using programming language so it provides more flexibility to work with different services so in the next video what we're going to look uh, we're going to set up our first aws account so you can go ahead and set up it if you want but if you don't know how to do that then i will tell you about it uh, in the next video then we will create im role security groups then create a redshift cluster that is a data warehouse and creating s3 bucket so we will basically take a look at the different aws services what is the ui how to learn about it and many more so so see you in the next video thank you